And I'm going to show you how to turn this photo into this photo with Luminar 4 in just a few clicks. Hey everyone, my name is Duncan Dimos and I'm a French photographer living in Paris. So here is my initial image. So what I want to do first is do a basic adjustment on it. So I usually like doing the autumn color or I go for the warm sunset. Either one of those looks give me a good starting point. I'm going to try this one now. See, I like the warm sunset. It's going to work really well with the look I want to have. So, so already I went from this to this in just one click. All the tools that are highlighted here on the right are the tools being used by the look applied. So if you want to better understand what is being done to the image, then you can open up the tool highlighted and then look into it. Now I'm going to make small adjustments to the image using the essential tool. So I'm going to go to essentials, I'm going to go to the light, and um, I'm going to add some a bit of contrast, just a tiny bit, not much. Shadows I think is fine. I'll lower the blacks a bit. But now let's get to the fun part. Let's go to the creative tab here and I'm gonna go with the sky replacement because as you can see here, the sky was definitely boring. So I'm gonna replace it. And I think the one I like is the Dramatic Sunset one. Is one I went with. And look what it did. We went from a super boring sky to a quite an amazing image with a stunning sunset. So here's the before and here's the after. Once you have that, you can still make adjustments on the sky if you don't really like the look of it. You can flip it, but I like how the sun is actually rising or setting on the waterfall here. But I don't like the light hitting the waterfall like that, so, so I'm gonna go to the sky global and I already know that bringing down to around 20 is gonna help with that. Here we go. I like it much better. And um, let's see, before, without the sky replacement, with the sky replacement, huge changes. And you can see, if you just look at the lower part, it is adjusting, the sky is actually changing also the look of the overall image, which I think is really cool. See here, you can relight the scene, so it's gonna adjust the scene in contrast to the sky that you're gonna be using. So I'm really happy with the image now. What I can do here is add some vignette. Usually I, I like doing that a lot. Uh, it does help, you know, focus the image by, um, by adding some darkness around the image, as you can see here. I'm gonna show you again, without it and with it. Without it and with it. So it does help make a more dramatic photo in my eyes. So I like adding vignetting. So I could use a bit of dodge and burn, but I'm gonna use the essential tool here and go to the AI structure. I'm gonna add a bit, I'm gonna to go to maybe 30. And you're gonna see that it's gonna boost, it's gonna do some magical intelligent stuff. So let it work its magic. See, without it, with it. So it just adds some natural contrast, it raises the whites and uh, it just adds more punch to the photo very easily like that was just one slide. It is an amazing tool and um, I'm not sure what they're doing, what kind of magic they're doing here, but it works. And uh, there you go. Now all I have to do is get rid of this little mark here and this here, and I should be fine. For that, you're gonna go to the canvas tool here and click on erase and wait a few seconds because it will open up. And I just realized that Serge is standing right here, taking a photo of this beautiful waterfall here Serge Ramelli, he, uh, he was the reason why I was on this tour, actually, with Luminar. And once it's open, all you have to do is make sure that it's on Add here. And what you want to do is click on this here. I'm going to click here. Voila. I don't see anything else in the shot that is distracting. I could erase those people here. But I do like the fact that because they're so tiny, it really shows how big this waterfall is. So I'm going to keep them here. I could get rid of him and rid of him just for the heck of it. And hit done. Wait a few seconds and you'll be back to the normal editing window. You can see that Luminar has added a new layer here. It's called Erased Image Layer. And you can see here it has done an amazing job erasing those people, getting rid of the dust here and also the sign that was at the bottom here. And there you have it, a much better looking image in just a few clicks. So that's it guys, you should definitely go and try Luminar 4. I truly recommend it. I tried it a few years ago, I was not fond of it, but now they really stepped up the game and I'm gonna be using this every day now. I'm a huge Lightroom fan, 
but this is definitely something that can do more faster and uh, frankly better I think in a lot of ways. So I personally never had to replace a sky for my work but I can definitely see myself having to in case well a client wants a certain photo at a certain time and unfortunately I don't have a week to wait for the best sky and the perfect moment so this could definitely help me in situations like that where clients really want a stunning image. And the fact that you can do it with one click with Luminar 4 is insane. It would take me much more time with Photoshop for sure. And if you want to purchase Luminar 4 and get a $10 discount, make sure that you use the link provided in the description below.